I want to understand my mother. I really try. 1993, that was the year that the Joy Luck Club had its Canadian premiere here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Flash forward 25 years, the cast and crew will now be reuniting for a special screening. And here's the best part, it's going to be at the same venue, at the Elgin Theatre. For 30 years, these women feasted, forgot past wrongs, laughed, played, lost and won, and told the best stories. The film was a groundbreaker, featuring an all-Asian cast and revolving around four Chinese immigrant mothers and their American daughters. The director, eagerly anticipating its special Thursday screening, followed by a special Q&A. It's a reminder of how important that film was. So Wang Wang remembers coming to Toronto, showing it to the Toronto audience, being in the Elgin Theatre. He was the one who asked, could we do it in the Elgin again 25 years later? And we said, of course. While the Joy Luck Club made waves in Hollywood, it unfortunately took 25 years to make another all-Asian film. Sam, Rachel, it's like an Asian bachelor. These people aren't just rich, they're crazy rich. Now you really should have told me that you're like the Prince William of Asia. That's ridiculous. Much more of a Harry. <laughs> crazy rich Asians breaking more barriers and box office records. I spoke with the cast ahead of the film's opening. This isn't just an Asian film. Yeah. This is a film about love, acceptance, learning who you are. As a personal experience, it, 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 was, it, was, it meant a lot. 25 years, that's an entire adult that's like walking around wondering like, oh my God, this is new for me. Like yeah. I've never had a movie with representation. I think the movie in itself is a universal story. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's just accidentally Asian. For the Asian community, and really not just the Asian community, when we think about diversity, in film. Uh, we are seeing some changes in the last few years. What do those changes mean for the Toronto International Film Festival? I think they mean that our festival and our lineup can fully reflect the audience that just lives in Toronto and is looking for their own stories on screen. They're looking for themselves up on screen. We all love to see that. This year's lineup featuring films from 83 countries, up significantly over previous years, which typically sees between 60 to 70 countries represented. I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. But what does the future hold for stars of these films? Will they be stuck in stereotypical B-rolls in order to break through in Hollywood? Crazy Rich Asian star Henry Golding says he's here to carve out a strong career in the leading man space, and he's off to a good start, building on momentum and starring as a leading man opposite Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick in the upcoming A Simple Favor. Melanie Ng, City News.